the coffee canvas. So I have a lot of exciting news coming at the end of this video, so make sure to stay tuned for that. But until then, I had a poll on my Instagram and my Facebook to see if I should play with a fall look or if I should play with like a colorful look. So everybody did fall basic. So for the end of September, I'm going to be doing a fall basic look, something that I would wear during the fall time, kind of match with your flannels, go to a football game, stuff like that. Whew. Oh goodness, I'm winded, sorry. But I was going to be announcing now that I'm going to, in October, starting my new series called Dutch Bros and True Crime Time which I'm hoping to be able to film on Wednesdays and I'll be launching them Fridays in October. I'll be having hopefully five episodes, four to five, depending on the part series that I'll go with. And I'm gonna be doing Halloween looks for those ones. So I bought this off Amazon and I dabbled it in a little bit. It's really awesome and I'm not allergic to it, which is really good for me because I'm allergic to freaking everything. But I have that going and then today, I've already had way too much caffeine, probably three cups of two times caffeine um, coffee. So I'm just gonna be drinking some hot chocolate today on the channel. I still needed a cup and I like the warm drink. It's the fall time. What are we gonna say? It's officially fall. Give me a break. I like it warm. I am a pumpkin spice lover as well. So don't, don't hate on me for that. <sighs> also, sorry, this is a cluster mess. I'm still waiting to figure out my shelving situation for all my Jeffrey palettes and all my palettes in general. I have a lot of dirty brushes, I need to clean them, but today I figured, since I haven't done it in a minute, I was gonna show you my base routine again and then go from there. So I do have new ring lights up and stuff like that, so hopefully this lighting is better in this video since I'm gonna be cameras over here, mirrors are over here. Just let me know your guys' feedback down below. It really does help, don't be mean, but if there's things I could change within reason, obviously, just let me know. But for the fall look, I'm gonna start off with my base. So for fall, I usually go with a little bit more cold looks, but also warm and contoured. Because in the summer, it's mostly focused on, I think, like blush and like looking rosy and like sunshiny. But for me in the fall, I love looking more just like bronzed and dark and a little bit more, I guess, fall. I guess that's the only way to describe it without sounding really weird. But so that's what we're going to do today. So I finally found my perfect shade match. At least I think so. I might have to go tanning again since it is a little bit darker, but it's shade Seashell in the Born This Way matte, which you guys know I've been using those. So I've gone through like three different colors in this one. And I finally found the one I think does match me. So I have that. And then I obviously have my Born This Way concealer. And then I got this in my BoxyCharm box, which I will link my description in the description down below my BoxyCharm code so y'all can get a discount on there. But I got the Georgette Kleiner something primer for all skin types. I've used this for a few days. I like it. It's not bad. And I figure I was like, it was basically free. You might as well use it. And I also got my Box Glam Glow and that thing is amazing. I love that a lot but I am breaking out a lot right now because I just started my Curology box again. So my skin is purging per usual. What else do you expect? I got that on, I'm gonna let that sit for a second. If I don't use that one, the normal primer I use is the NYX Marshmallow Primer. I like this one a lot, it's really, really good. Um, it's a little bit more expensive, so when I'm on a budget, and I obviously can't, I usually use um, Catrice stuff. So I'm out of my matte one that I normally use. That's why I'm using those two right now. But the matte, um, the matte Catrice, sorry, in the white bottle is usually my number one go-to because it's cheap and it works. I love the e.l.f. like putty primers, but because I'm combination skin over the day, they do decide to separate and obviously I get a lot more oily. But if I use like the marshmallow primer or even this new primer they sent me in my box, I was like, it's really good. So I'm going to put my foundation, stuff like that on, but I just mixed up my powder, which is my Makeup Revolutions um, Luxury Baking Powder in Lace and Ghost. And I usually just mix those two together, give me a good tone. And again, we're balling on a budget. We ain't doing no Derma Blend no more because that's expensive. And this actually, I found out works a lot better with this stuff than the um, Derma Blend did, which is surprising. They're only eight bucks a piece and they last a minute. So I already got my primer on. I'm gonna put this on there and I'm just gonna get it all over my hand. And then I'm just gonna start blending it on. 
So if you know me or you've watched my videos, I'm obviously a very rosy person. I'm very red undertoned and it just kind of is what it is. And over the day I get more and more red. So it was always a really big insecurity of mine that my face would be a complete different color or like if I blew my nose or something when I'm sick, all of it rubs off around it and it looks ridiculous and people are like, oh my gosh, what happened? And I'm like, just my real skin, don't mind me guys. But since I got this, it's been a lot better. So I basically just blended out all my edges, make sure I get it good. Don't forget your neck. That, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna set my face with the matte finish by NYX. What I love about this stuff too is as long as you set it and then you put a little bit of powder over it after, it really does stick on your face all day and it will not transfer off. Like you'll have a little bit from like the powder, but the actual foundation, unless you're like picking at it, is gonna be on there all day. So now I got my um, Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in shade Cloud. This one is very white, but it does work for what I need it to do. So I'm just gonna cut kind of up here. And then I'm gonna be highlighting my inner corner, so you might as well just get it prepped. So I'm just gonna pop it right in there and cover up that big dark vein. So I did practice this look earlier today to make sure it's gonna turn out the way I want it to because I'm sick of coming on camera and then it doesn't turn out the way I wanted it to and then I feel like I look stupid and I'm like <laughs> But it's okay. So I'm gonna buff this out. Again, just highlighting that eye, kind of lifting it up because you can never really fully cover bags. It's just kind of is what it is. Even if you color or cover the color, the puffiness is always just gonna sit there. So it's better to just try and brighten it up and make it look like it's lifted versus just caking it on and then you just have a really puffy eye. But what I'm gonna do is use the tip of my sponge here and I'm gonna go under my eyes. So that is one of my biggest parts that I crease the most is under my eyes and around my mouth and on my nose. Basically anywhere where it's gonna basically get oily. And again, I just started my Curology again. So my skin is a little bit fanatic right now. Not quite sure what it wants to do. So if it looks a little poopy today, just go with it guys. We all got our own shit we're dealing with. Now that I have all this on, I'm gonna use my powder puff and just bring it all over. So I obviously know that nowadays a lot of people are going less full glam, full makeup all the time. But with my complexion, I just don't have enough confidence to do that. Um, at least to go like work and stuff like that. If I'm just going to Walmart, I usually don't wear any makeup anyway. I barely wear a bra. So, but like to go to work and stuff, I can't not wear makeup. I just, it, nah. I'm too red and blotchy and awkward to even think about doing that. <laughs> so now that I have that set, I'm gonna go in with my Hula Mini and it's in shade, I believe it's the original or the one lightest from the original. Cause I think the original was too dark and this is the one like after it. So I'm just gonna go in with my little brush like this and just start carving my face. So I make sure to flop it off cause this one definitely, if you get too much on the brush in the initial get go, it'll just leave a big blob. <laughs> Of brown and then you got to fix that later and you're like oh that was nice thanks bud also i feel like i'm extra talkative because i'm so hyped up on caffeine and i'm going to a concert tonight with my dad at red rocks so i'm pretty pumped i'm going to see led zeppelin cover band called let the let out and i'm pretty pumped about it so this look is going to be going with my outfit that i'm going to wear there so I'm just making sure I'm really getting it bronzy, contouring my nose a little bit. Having a big nose is not, not beautiful. It is beautiful. No one can tell me any different. Even though I have a parakeet beak, I love my parakeet beak. And mine is big just from genetics and then I've broken it so many times that it's a little, it's a little crooked. So if any of y'all notice your nose is crooked, why yes, yes it is. It's been that way since I was a child. It's never gonna get fixed unless I get a nose job and I don't make enough money to get a nose job. So unless you don't wanna start buying my merch, you're gonna have to deal with my crooked nose. I'm gonna take a hit. 
And I'm not gonna do my blush until later on, just because I wanna make sure it's gonna line up with my eye makeup properly, and I'd rather do that first than trying to match it with my blush that's already on, and then having it not look the way I want it. <coughs> Sound like freaking wheezy over here. Alrighty, so now that I have that set, what I'm going to do is blend my cheeks up a little bit. <coughs> Don't mind me just dying. I'm gonna blend all of this out, but I'm gonna keep the stuff under my eyes for the most part. Just in case I have any fallout, I can easily try to brush it off as much as possible. So usually before I go in with my eye look, I try to double up so that way it doesn't go anywhere I don't want it to go. So now I got that all set, what I'm going to do is grab my blood sugar palette. I'm so sorry guys, this is already a clusterfuck, but it's okay. So I have not done my hair yet, so I'm gonna do that later too. But to start off this look, I'm gonna put my primer down. So I'm using the eyeshadow primer Photo Focus by Wet n Wild again. So I'm just gonna dab that on with my fingers onto my lids. And I'm gonna do both of them with you at the same time. Cause I think we can manage it this time. But we shall see, we'll find out, right? So just plop it on, give us a sticky surface to work with. So this look is pretty, I guess, dark and like ominous, but it's very light for fall. It's gonna be a very cute look, I think. So what I did, after I did that is obviously I let it dry a little bit, and then I went in with my little round brush like this, and I dipped into in, in, intravenous, intravenous? We'll pretend that's the word that I'm looking for. And that was my outside color. So I'm basically just gonna dip into that and a little bit of ouch, knock it off. And it's more of like this orangey deep tone and I live for it right now in the fall. I feel like it matches flannels. It's very, mm. So I'm just gonna keep dabbing into that and making this shape and then I'll move on to my other eye. Moving on to my other eye. Like I said, this is gonna be a pretty quick look. I think most of the time is gonna be taken up by just explaining stuff or um, the base. So now this one's a little bit more out, so I wanna go back in with the ouch and kind of bring it up just a little bit. Bring it down. Just keep blending that corner out. In it with my cake mix shade and just buff it around the top edges. Oh, so now I'm gonna go in with Donor, which is that beautiful gold shade. And I'm gonna put that right in my center lid. Anybody else think of fall with gold? Now I'm gonna go back in with ouch, which is that more burnt orange color. And I'm just gonna blend that gold into that, that deep burgundy. So now that I have all that on, what I'm going to do is go back in with that gold shade, just a little bit, just to keep brightening it up right in here. So now I have that on, what I'm going to do is, or what I did is I went in with my, um, the pinky rose hip hop sticks and this one's like a cream tone and i'm basically going to use that as my sticky base for my white inner corner and then i'm going to go underneath with my gold one so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to bring this right here just brighten up my inner corner and then i'm going to stick my white onto that sugar first in the glucose fill in that inner corner and then I'm gonna go back so I have an idea and you know me with ideas they're never good so I'm gonna go in with like this really flat little brush here into my glucose shade which is like a pure just white 
And I'm just gonna dab it right in that corner. So I'm just gonna build that up in my inner corner and bring it down. And don't worry, I might put a little bit more in my inner corner just to really brighten it up. But for now, this is kind of exactly what I was going for. So now I have that on. I'm going to go in with the gold in this um, pinky rose stick. And I'm just going to go right under my eye. These things are literally like butter. When I first got them in the box, I was like, seriously, this is what they gave me. And now that I've been playing with them, I'm like, ooh, this is what they gave me? Because I am loving them. So I'm just going to bring it right up to where that inner corner started. Just like that. And give it like that nice little glow. So now I have that done. I'm going to go in with some black eyeliner. And I'm really just going to cut right above it just to brush on the bottoms of my bottom eyelashes. Just to really broaden that color and give it a little bit more dimension. So now I have that done, I'm just gonna go in with one of my fingers, just kind of buff it out so it's not just such a straight line. And this stuff is kind of wet, so it's very easy to move. So now I got that all blended out going to clean up my inner corners. So I'm thinking, because I basically used all the shades from this, I want to go in almost with like a whiter, so I might just pop in my NYX Professional um, in Diamond Lust, which is more of like a silvery tone, but I'm going to go back in with that brush and really just brighten this inner corner up. Alrighty, and then I'm going to go back in with that same brush and just put a little bit up on my eyebrow. Alrighty, so now that I have all that on, what I'm going to do is brush away this under eye and then I'm going to pop my eyeliner on. Now I'm going to go in with my eyeliner, which again is going to be my NYX Epic Ink Liner. My older one because I ruined my other one, but it's still working, so we're going to go with it. And then I'm just going to do a very basic little wing, nothing extravagant. And I'm going to bring it really tight on my top lash line. See? Very basic. Same on the other side. Beautiful. So now that I have my wings on, I'm noticing this eye is a little bit bigger than this one. So I'm just going to go back in with my brush again and just pop it out a little bit more. Now that I have all that done, what I'm going to do is go in with my mascara and really finish this look off. So I use Maybelline Last Sensational in full fan effect in the darkest black or blackest black. And I'm just gonna get these all on my lashes. So obviously if you want this same like effect with your lashes, if you don't have long full lashes, like I have long lashes, they're not super full, but if I put enough mascara on them, I can basically fake it till I make it. But if you don't have like any lashes and you want to really make this look a little bit more glamorous, etc., I would recommend just getting a pair of like easy little lashes, like magnetic lashes or something, just something really small. It gives a little bit more volume, you know, if that's something that you're wanting to get into. Now I have my tops done. I'm just gonna go in a little bit on the bottom. So now I have all my mascara on and in my eyeball, I'm going to finish this look off with some blush. So I did get in, in my um, BoxyCharm box as well, True Illusions Lucky Glow. So it's this very, very beautiful, gorgeous palette. So I'm thinking I might use that as a highlighter after I get my blush on here, because I'm not going to do too much blush. Honestly, I'm just going to warm up my cheeks a little bit and that's about it. So I'm not going to go in deep, I'm just going to go in with a really light brush and just bring it right up here and make them just a little rosy. So before I go in with that, I'm going to do my brows real quick and just get those on. And I just use Essence 
Make Me Brow, which is just a very light gel. And it's basically not to do anything except just lay them down flatter. So that way they stay that way over the day. And then it also gets all the makeup out of them. So that way they're back to their natural color versus what they were like with all the power on them. Go over them in a second with a little mascara wand or eye brush brow. Or eye brush brush. Eyebrow brush, there's the words. And I'm just gonna fan them out, lay them real flat. And now I'm going to go in with my little fan brush like this. And I think I wanna dip into triple sevens because that one looks very fun. And I have not dipped into that one yet. I'm just gonna bring it up the brow. I have all that done. I'm going to fix my lip keen. I'm going to use my deceased. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of skin tight right in the center. like an ombre lip almost I love it this is cute so this is the look so far let me go do my hair and I'll be right back I am back my hair is basically did I might do more to it later depending on if it falls because my hair doesn't like to hold curls very well but I wanted to go with like a 70s like flushy blowout and I think I did pretty good at least for my first time trying it, and I did it with a flat iron. So I'm pretty proud of myself. Don't judge. Alrighty, so now you've made it to the end of this video. If you have, leave a kissy emoji in the comments and make sure to make, like and subscribe to me. That would really be amazing, and I would love it so, so much. But I have some announcements to make. So I officially registered or filed to become an LLC for Coffee Cannabis, meaning I'll be the owner and operator of CoffeeCannabis.com, and this brand name will be registered to me. So I'm very excited about that. I should be getting my results back anytime now. And I also have more items coming up for sale October 1st. These are probably some of my favorite merchandise items that I've made to date. Um, so they're just in time for Halloween. I'll show you my first one. So this one's a little one, basically the same size as all my other ones. It's coffee cannabis with me holding my Dutch Rose cup because yes. And then the second one is going to be same thing, me holding my coffee cup, but I got Cello and Riley in there and they are just in time for Halloween. These ones are a lot bigger, so I love them, but these are very much me. I'm very goth, but beautiful and love animals and coffee and marijuana and I love everything. So this is what that one is. And I'm, this is probably my favorite sticker to date. Like I love my Marilyn Monroe looking one, but oh my gosh, this one is me. And I love this so much. So both of them will be going for $5 on my website launching October 1st by 10 a.m. So make sure to be on the lookout for these two. Obviously you can see the size difference, it's huge. And then I also have still on sale some of my, um. Rectangular stickers, not too much. I think I only have three of each left. And then obviously I still have my stoner dog mom stickers, which these ones are perfect for any of your stoner dog mom friends. If you go on my website now, I do have credit card transactions set up and taxes and stuff. So everything is very legit. I do try to send out everything as soon as I get the order in within the next day of it. So if I get it like in the afternoon, I'll usually send it out the next morning. I do all my packing, shipping stuff myself. So if things are a little bit wonky, it's just because it's just me and I still work a full-time job around 55 hours a week. So I am a very busy person, unfortunately, but I'm going to be starting in October. I think by October 6th, I'll be launching my first video for this. I'm going to be doing Dutch Bros and True Crime Time. So I'm going to be focusing mostly on like Colorado serial killers or Colorado killers in general for the first month. And I think I'm going to have three cases. I'm going to break two into two parts and then one is one because it's just a shorter case because it's an older case. But I'm going to be drinking some coffee. I'm going to have some crazy makeup on and we're just going to talk about true crime for a little bit and drink some coffee, have a good time, you know, smoke a blunt, 
do our thing and we're gonna learn together about these so those are gonna be very much trial and error so if they suck just give me time we got to get there but after October because that's basically what I'm gonna be doing all of October is just true crime stories then after that I'm gonna be trying to post them at least once to twice a month depending on your guys's demand for them if you guys like them or if you hate them you just gotta let me know in the comments and again if you made it to the end of this video make sure to leave a kissy mark in the comments down below give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and share me anything you do supports my small business dreams and my YouTube dreams I'm obviously not sponsored at the moment, but I do have codes for BoxyCharm, um, One Last Round, stuff like that. I will link everything down in the description below. And I used, for most of my look today, I used the um, Blood Sugar Palette by Jeffree Star. I used shade Glucose, Ouch, Donor, and Intravenous, and a little bit of Cake Mix, but that's about all I used for this whole look. If you know me, you know I obviously love Jeffree Star. I want to be on his PR list at some point, but you know, we obviously, he's just got to see these. So that's why you guys got to like them and share them and stuff so you can support my dreams and I'll help you and it'll be a good thing. And don't forget launching October 1st at 10 a.m. My new coffee cannabis stickers, obviously this one with my doggos and this one, if you guys just buy them, share them with your friends, which I them and try to share anything you can anything you post on social media with my merch or anything just make sure to tag me i love to see you guys supporting me and i do post um all my supporters that post pictures and stuff or send them to me i do post them on my coffee cannabis merch page on instagram which again i'll link everything down in the description below i do have tiktok instagram i have two accounts on instagram and a Twitter besides my YouTube. So make sure to check all of them out. Most of my content on Instagram and YouTube here and a little bit on Twitter, just if I comment on Jeffree Star stuff, trying to get some more business coming my way. And again, thank you so much for joining in. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I appreciate all of you guys. And I probably won't post this video until tomorrow just because I'm going to the concert tonight and I'm gonna post videos in here of the concert. So make sure if you wanna see that, you can skip to the end or whatever, but it's probably not gonna be too much at the concert, but I am going with my dad, so I'm super freaking pumped. We go to it almost every year. And it's just a him and I thing because we love old rock. Old rock is what we go for. So make sure to stay tuned for that. But if you made it to this part, make sure to comment down below, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys on the next episode of Coffee Cannabis on October 6th. Bye.